Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read-through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it relied upon as any form of advice at all. It's just general in nature only. Anglo-American has batted off BHP, but I don't want to go through that M&A deal. I want to go through the fact that at the moment, Rio and BHP and anything in that mining space that are at the very premium end, they're out there hunting. And I think that is the key take out of this, and it is specifically in the red metal. Copper now, I think, is one of the most interesting spaces to be watching because clearly everyone now sees it as what is it's going to be part of, which is the vault revolution. I've spoken about this in articles and also on these videos around what the vault revolution, as the Americans refer to it, is going to do. Nickel and lithium we know about, but we forget the underlying metal, the foundation metal to all of these transitions towards electrification, batteries and the like over the next four decades need copper. And for that reason, I actually think it's not about BHP or Rio or even Anglo-American. It's about those mid-sized copper plays that are clearly going to be snapped up as the copper price continues to get higher and higher on demand continuing to outdo uh, supply. Don't forget, yes, you've got Escondida, you've got Tarancot, you've also got to worry about it in Oetogo up in Mongolia with BHP and Rio, but they are clearly thirsty for more. And although they're upgrading those mines to the levels that we've never seen before, BHP is the largest provider of copper, closely followed by Rio Tinto. They are not going to be far away with another acquisition, merger, or anything of those ilk. So with that in mind, I actually think the interesting to look at is the copper area and keeping copper as one of those sort of core thematics for your investing going forward, because clearly the big players are out there, they're in predator mode, and they will find prey.